those are really good cookies. I know. Um, what you got there? Well, he gave me a discount if I bought the whole pan. So. <laughs> Thank you again, Connor. That, you are the best. How much did that segment cost you? Uh, well, you know what? I don't care because I got brownies and cookies out of the deal, so I'm Help good to go. Out. I'm a happy man. Mm -hmm. You know, Alfred I. DuPont, uh, you probably already know that name, synonymous with manufacturing in Delaware. However, DuPont's legacy goes beyond industry and finance. Yeah, many already know he left several millions of dollars in his estate to build the AI DuPont Hospital for Children. But what many may not know is he left a beautiful piece of property to be used for healing that goes beyond medicine. It's called the Nemours Mansion and Gardens. The grounds of this palatial estate are nothing short of breathtaking. 300 acres surround a 47,000 square foot mansion, a modern Versailles built in 1910 by Alfred I. DuPont for his second wife, Alicia. He called it Nemours after his family's ancestral home in France. Today, the Nemours Mansion and Gardens is part of the Nemours A.I. DuPont Hospital for Children and is open to the public. Why? Well, in the words of Alfred I. DuPont, it is the duty of everyone in the world to do what is within his power to alleviate human suffering. He gave the bulk of the, the money in his estate to develop a hospital for sick and crippled children. And that opened in 1940 as the Alfred I. DuPont Institute. Today it's the uh, Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children, part of Nemours Children's Health System, which is the largest pediatric health system in the country. John Rum is the executive director of the Nemours Mansion and Gardens. He says DuPont felt being outdoors was part of the healing process. He was a, uh, a passionate outdoorsman. He would try to walk every day, try to exercise out in his gardens every day. He understood that nature has a healing power to it. The estate has been open to the public as a historic house, museum, and garden since the late 70s, following the death of DuPont's third wife, Jessie. But now, it has an even bigger role. Starting this year, we're changing. We've uh, really expanded the definition of the public to include not only our regular visitors, but also patients in the hospital, their families, the, the parents who are here and their siblings who are here, caregivers and providers who work in the hospital and Nemours employees generally, and really the entire community. So we've really expanded that definition of the public. When his son was diagnosed with cancer in December, Paul Somerset of Lewis found respite among the lavish gardens and undisturbed woodlands. He said it was hard to leave his son's bedside, but necessary. Each parent kind of goes through this. It's a very normal phase um, of, of needing to be close to the child. And then for their own healing and for the sustaining the, the family, needs a chance to have a little bit of a break. Situated within eyeshot of the hospital, the estate serves a purpose for the young patients as well. When Mrs. DuPont implemented her husband's vision in building the hospital, she understood that the grounds were part of that healing process. She had a landscape gardener who developed a children's garden, the first children's garden with a hospital. There were areas of the, the campus that were set aside for recreation, for therapy. So we're really, we're forward looking, but we're also kind of going back to the original heritage, the original legacy of the DuPonts. One of the focal points of the estate is this water tower. It can be seen from some of the new patient rooms in the hospital. Kids look out on the grounds all day and at night. A lot of kids look out on a water tower that looks like a castle, which uh, was built in 1914 to provide water for the, the property. And they think of it as a castle. And, and I think that's great. It, it, that, kind of imagination, that kind of sense of hope sustains them. And again, we, we want to play up that. We want to make them feel like they can imagine, they can uh, uh, have fun, they can find things to take them away, if not physically from the hospital, sending them mentally and emotionally and lift their spirits. And that's really, in a nutshell, what we're all about here is lifting your spirits. For Paul's family, the water tower represented something all families with a sick child need. Hope. And we were greeted by that tower over here, the, the water tower. It's magical. And we were here on and off so long that spring started to arrive. And the tower for us became almost a symbol of weathering the storms 
We watched it in snow. We watched it in rain. We watched it fill the sky with beautiful sunsets. It was a constant. It allowed us to see that there is something outside the, ho outside the hospital. He says one of the other benefits of having the estate surround the hospital, no big city stress. When you come into AI, it's, you're greeted by green, you're greeted by space. You come through those gates and you can just start breathing. It's, a, it's a, an amazing, relaxing experience just approaching the hospital. Providing families with comfort, serenity, compassion, and eventually healing. Nemours Mansion and Gardens is open to the public as a museum Tuesday through Sunday. You can tour the mansion, the gardens, and the chauffeur's garage. For more information on locations, times, and admission, go to our website, delmarvalife.com.